The Wake Forest Area Chamber of Commerce belongs to all of us. The Chamber serves its stakeholders and its stakeholders serve each other. As we work together, we're making the connections that help build businesses, develop leaders, and enhance the quality of life in our unique town. Thank you for your investment. I'm Thomas Walters. Uh, I'm an Allstate Agency owner. I've been in Wake Forest for 23 years. When the leadership program was uh, first developed, it was uh, to identify um, people within businesses that were members of the chamber that could potentially uh, be leaders in our community because at that time our community was very small and uh, we were growing and there was a lot of need for leadership in the community. So uh, I was able to, uh, to become involved and uh, make a number of contacts uh, with, within not only the uh, community but inside the chamber and all the different uh, committees. Uh, it really uh, led to a lot of my activities down the road. My name is Shannon Arner and I am the founder and owner of Pet and Nanny. Getting involved as a business in whatever organizations, whether it's government affairs or um, you know, helping out at events, meeting the street or any kind of committee to give back, um, also gets your, your brand recognized. So it, it's a way of helping you be recognized as a person, be recognized as a business owner, um, but also your brand. Um, and then it also fulfills that, that ability to be able to give. Um, you, can, you get out of the chamber what you put into it. My name is Marco Kiros, and I am a graduate of Heritage High School. I will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the fall. Through Youth Leadership Work Forest, I was able to learn a lot more about my community, about downtown, and it was really beneficial to know those things because, you know, I live here, you live in a place, and you think you know it, but you really don't. Deborah Bordeaux, Stay at Home Senior Care. The Women Business Owners Alliance has been a, a, a camaraderie for me. You know, there's not too many opportunities for me to step out of my role as a president of the company and associate with other business owners. And um, the fact that they're female makes it a lot of fun as well. And it's a chance for us to share um, ideas, what works, what doesn't work, share some of our um, stresses of the day in an environment that's away from the day-to-day -day work. I love that it's a morning meeting because it gets us before we get involved in the day-to-day, -day, so. My name is Todd Goodrich, and I'm with Triangle Insurance Group. Developed a lot of friendships uh, because of the networking events, but also gained the trust and confidence of a lot of the business owners and individuals who attend those events. Uh, they get to know me personally, so it's not just to come to one event and then expect good things to happen. It's consistency for them to know who I really am. I'm Seth Asbel. I'm a financial advisor with Edward Jones. I think it can be really hard to be young and be in business, especially if you're in business for yourself or if you're kind of the tip of the spear as part of a sales environment or anything else. And so I think it's been really helpful to be a part of a chamber that is so accepting and welcoming of young people and, and looking to engage with young people. I really have felt that as a young person in business, the chamber has been very open to my engagement and involvement. And uh, the folks who have been there have been very encouraging to me as a business person. It's also been great to be a part of the young professionals group that we've got in the chamber to see other folks who are going through it at the same time and sharing some of the same challenges and the same opportunities. Uh, the Young Professionals Group has really been a great place to be with other folks who are in the same place in their business as I am and, and that's been really encouraging. My name is Tammy Robbins and I am the Marketing Director at Carillon Assisted Living. The Senior Lifestyle Expo is a win-win situation because we are able to meet our uh, constituents right there at the expo. They are able to ask us questions and talk with us about what is important for their family and for senior care. And on top of that, we're able to partner with other businesses and we are able to meet with the business owners and talk about collaborating in the future. I really um, credit Wake Forest Chamber with helping me get started in the community. We um, have seen the return of investment each year. Last year we upgraded our membership um, because we were able to see that it was an obvious resource to tap into um, to make those connections, whether it's um, going and rubbing elbows with other businesses, it's uh, making connections in the community to figure out um, where uh, your, your business is most needed. Um, we get business from chamber members and then those chamber members refer us to other people. I recommend the Youth Leadership Program to everyone that wants to get a feel for their community and also gain valuable leadership skills while they're at it. 
it was a really great program for me because I got to have fun while also learning about leadership and about building character and I really enjoyed the program a lot. One of the programs I really enjoyed was Leadership Wake Forest and it was an opportunity to learn the history of the town which tied nicely into my business of caring for seniors because I wanted to know the history of the town to better understand my customers. Um, and then about, I'd say eight years later, I was invited to be a speaker to another group of Leadership Wake Forest and it was just wonderful the way it came full circle. Well, the biggest thing is, is come to the networking events. Come to the business after hours. If you forget who your ambassador is, ask somebody. If you're a little bit shy, just cling on to somebody and say, hey, will you help introduce me to this person, this person, or this person? So always come with an agenda to meet at least one or two people. None of us are gonna meet all 100, 200, 300 people that are at the event. So that's the biggest thing is, is come to the new member orientation and then communicate with your ambassador also. It is the relationships that you form when you're at these different educational opportunities or social events or expos. And so those relationships help build the business relationship. And I feel like I can pick up the phone or email someone and have different services for my residents here at Carillon and they will benefit from all the Wake Forest businesses.